Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone. And thank you for coming to the channel. We're going to be talking about you know who Cardi B and the blogger Tasha K. Okay, Radio Online had an exclusive interview uh, that they put out, or one of the employees put out, I should say, Ryan Neiman. He has an exclusive story about these two women. He titled it "Cardi B Discovers Only One Thousand Eighty-Three Dollars in Bank Account of Blogger as She Moves Forward with Collecting on Three Million Dollar Judgment." Now, to me, when I see that, she don't got access. Meaning somebody, meaning the judge, have gave her access to have wherever Tasha K. Bank holdings were to be seized in a sense, and to be looked at, and to be told how much is in each account seems like cardi's gonna have to go a little step further okay cardi got enough money to make things happen that way so in a sense tasha k can run but she can't hide and why would you want to be on the run what about you what about your children what about your lifestyle okay to me it's just like go on and pay the money go on and pay the money you still gonna have your one million followers or more but go on and get it late on money. Ain't no sense of you uprooting your children to, fro, and everywhere. Okay? <sighs> Here, there, everywhere, to and fro. Okay? No time to be able to meet and uh, um, solidify yourself in a stable environment. You just want to keep hopping here, hopping there, and it's just too much. And I hope your children are, what do you call it, being homeschooled? Because I don't see how they can stay in anybody's school district. With you, meaning Tasha K, running here, there, and everywhere. Just to not pay what you owe to this young lady. Which is a music artist artist named Cardi B. But going back to the article. Okay. It is saying, Cardi B attempts to collect on the $3 million owed to her from a blogger named Tasha K. Has been unsuccessful. Radar Online. Dot com has learned according to court documents obtained by radar online uh dot com jp morgan chase bank has informed cardi that tasha and her company kiwi studios only have one thousand eighty three dollars and two cent held in accounts now as we for we further found out that tasha k was in uh allegedly in florida she left there she went to some part of Africa and she's just been going here there and everywhere okay you see what I'm saying like a bouncing ball you just throw it to one person person throw it to another person and just keep going with no ending uh to me it seems like she's on the run but to other people it may be seen another different way uh but going back to the article it says the amount is for far cry from what is needed <coughs> to satisfy the court judgment Cardi was awarded as RadarOnline.com first reported, Cardi recently started the collection process months after a jury sided with her in January. In 2019, Cardi sued Tasha over allegations she made in a series of YouTube videos. The blogger claimed Cardi had an STD, used hard drugs, and worked as an escort in the past, among other things. Specifically, Tasha K. Uh, Claim Cardi had herpes, which the rapper disproved with medical records in court. On the stand, Cardi told the jury the situation caused her emotional distress, caused her marriage problems, and led to her seeking professional help. Only an evil person could do that 
ish the rapper said in court the jury ended up awarding cardi b 1 million in general damages and 250k for medical expenses for a grand total of 1.25 million the rapper also walked away with a 1.5 million in punitive damages and another 1.3 million for her attorney fees okay tasha has filed an appeal of the judgment which is pending cardi started the process of collecting which the blogger which included her firing off a legal letter to jp morgan chase demanding man and they keep any funds owed by tasha k and be ready to turn them over the blogger was vehemently opposed uh cardi seizing her bank accounts arguing it is improper okay tasha argued that the appeal should be put women tasha argued that the appeal should put a pause on any collection efforts however cardi b said tasha needs to put forth a bond in the amount of 3.8 million for the appeal which has yet to happen a judge has yet to rule on whether the music mongol has the right to take the funds from tasha's bank account okay and that's pretty much where we are at this point and I see it for this if the judge let her get awarded for the um, bank institution to tell her how much was in um, Tasha K's account at the time. She is messing with some damn good lawyers, okay? And some damn good creditors that's going to get the money regardless. So, to me... Whew, Tasha K needs to slow her roll. Go on and pay the woman what she owes her. Because if she's doing real well with her YouTube channel, there's no reason for her not to pay the debt owed. But, like I said, this is just a thing that's coming here, there, and everywhere. We'll have to update it as we see fit, as more information may trickle in, okay? Because I don't think Cardi's going to give up. No time soon, as long as she got breath in her body, she is going to seek her monies that are owed to her. And that's just really how it is. So Tasha K can run, but she can't hide. And with all of this traveling she's doing, yeah, may not. <laughs> you know, it's like a Bunny and Clyde situation going on. Oh, I'm like, where would the madness just end? But that's all we have for this particular video, guys. If y'all like more, uh, don't hesitate. Sign up for your notifications. When I drop videos, you'll know. Okay? And subscribe to the channel. That's another way you'll know. And then like my videos. Okay? And I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.